Hello guys, welcome to Love Between 22, Vanessa here speaking and today we have another pick a card reading and this is what are their intentions towards you? So it was the angels who requested this and also God himself, the angels told me because honestly speaking, there's um my ex is coming, it is because of the negative intention and thanks to the other readings that I have, I gain clarification but I will not leave you guys, okay? Because you know, you need to know the intention of the people around you. This is not basically a love reading guys, okay? The angels say just um, take what resonates. If this is for you a love reading, then um, some piles is about that. The angels say, but that basically about love itself. Now we have four piles, and by the way, it's Archangel Gabriel who arranged the pile for us. So you have pile number one is eight of pentacles, number two is five of wands, and Number three is the nine of cups and also um, the number four is the high priestess. The angels say that you have to relax a bit. Don't let your ego rule over you. The angels say let go of negative emotions because your intuition will not work if you are full of such things in your mind and also in your heart. So is there anything else? Um, they told me that you have to do it, okay? You have to confront your person, the angels say. Be brave enough to face your fears, they tell me. And right now, it's not a perfect time for you guys to be arrogant, the angels say. At least that kind of thinking that you're always right. Because some of you guys don't know the truth yet the angels say that's why they ask you to relax a bit and to think about the things the possibilities um why it happened and your mistakes as well the angels say not always blame and blame someone involved the angels say because some things happens for a reason so don't be arrogant like you don't know your mistake the angels say and relax a bit so they keep on saying relax relax the angels say you need to focus on your healing work in your self-healing not your arrogancy the angels say so is there anything else they said no more so i'll show to you the cards that i'll be using for this reading okay so here are the cards that i'll be using for this reading so for the tarot cards i'll be using the akashic tarot deck it will be clarified by the classic tarot for the files the choices that we have here we put cards from the everyday tarot deck and then for the overall theme, we pulled cards from the Wisdom of the Oracle deck. For the advice from the angels, we pulled cards from the Universe Has Your Back, Work Your Light Oracle deck, and also Archangel Power Tarot cards. Now, St. Gabriel requests that we must use these cards, okay? Since it's not a love reading, guys, um... We don't have those cards for my love readings, okay? So the angels told me stop being arrogant. They keep on repeating. So if you're not yet ready, guys, just post the video. I'll proceed now with pile number one. Hello, guys. For those who chose pile number one, which is the Eight of Pentacles, here is your reading okay so let's see what are their intentions towards you so here is your overall theme for this reading i'm sensing let go um you have peace and then thinker 
a bright reverse for the thinker. They tell me. Okay, they tell me one more for the wisdom of the oracle deck. So I'll follow them. So, angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that we'll be able to know what is the overall theme for this reading. What are the intentions of those who chose? What are the intentions of the person of those who chose pal number one? You have a leg up, a higher power. They told me this is in reverse, okay? One more, they say. So you have milk and honey, upright position for that, they tell. One more, they told me. You have time to go. They said this is in reverse or upright. Another card they say. So you have unfinished symphony. Upright position for that they tell. Co create reverse. Deep knowing. Upright for the deep knowing. And also serendipity in reverse or upright they tell they said that's all mm -hmm. so let's see what are their intentions towards you so angels and guides please provide guidance for the cards so that you'll be able to know what are the intentions of the person of bow number one towards them. I'm sensing egotistical mindset. Like there's anger between both parties. That's what I'm sensing. They told me you don't have to stay like this forever. You have to let go of your anger. It will cause you anxiety, pain, and suffering in your life if you hold on to grudges. Because all the time, you always do that, the angels say. Learn to let go of negative emotions, they tell you. If you want to hear from this person, better let that negativity go. Archangel Raphael, upright for that, they tell, add some, they say it's in reverse or upright, they tell me, and then Hilarion, upright or reverse, they tell me for that, see, angels say you deserve someone better, I'm sensing not that card, you have community, upright and reverse they say so one more they told me you have two worlds upright or reverse they say and then the overall energy that's affecting the reading is the akashic library upright position for that they say what is the outcome you have the king of keys queen of keys another card they told me so you have the master artisan, they told me it's in reverse or upright, they tell me. Should I need to pull more? He said no need. So let's clarify the cards presented here. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that you'll be able to know what's behind the cards presented here please help us clarify so we'll be able to understand thank you i'm sensing heavy emotions in terms of the heart chakra you need to let go release the pain already nine of swords and then the hangman add some you have this card I'm sensing your anger guys hilarion you have you have to move on from it they told me Community is the four of ones, the two worlds, ten of pentacles, 
everyone makes mistakes, the angels say. And then the king of forces, you have the eight of cups upright for that, they told me. So, release the pain of the past, they say. The queen of roses. You have the ten of swords, seven of cups. Upright to reverse for that, they say. Queen of wands, in either upright or reverse, they tell. One more for that, they told me. Seven of pentacles, they told me it is in reverse. And then page of pentacles, upright, they told me for that. One more, they told me. So you have the High Priestess card, both are right or reverse, they tell. They told me one more. So you have the Nine of Pentacles that is in reverse, the angels say Five of Pentacles, upright position, they told me. So, okay, they say one more. I'm sorry it takes long. So you have the lovers upright or reverse, they tell me. They say that's it. So this is the overall energy that's affecting the whole reading. So this person that you're dealing with has been thinking lately about the connection of you guys together and the people involved. They want to balance their life right now and they don't want you to get involved anymore. That's what I'm sensing because they contemplate on you. They contemplate on things that doesn't serve them anymore. And now they come to realization that they have to do the King of Pentacles. They have to be like this. They don't want to remain stuck forever in the negativity of the situation. The angels say and they're releasing the pain of the past. That's what's going on. So... Release the past behind, guys, the angels say. So you have to relax and focus on your own. Because I'm sensing here that your person's intention was to let go of you already. Because this person has trouble sleeping at night, thinking about the situation, thinking about you negatively, and they want to release it. They are angry. They are upset about you. Leaving them behind, that's what I'm sensing, and they don't want to communicate with you anymore. So, I'm sensing here that they don't want to take action at all in your situation, guys. Because they know to themselves, it's before you guys, this person thought that you're a friend or a lover for them. This is now in reverse. Like, they want to let go of you so that they can move forward with their life right now. They want to communicate these things to you. If they approach you already, they want to tell you they are moving on. They don't want you anymore in their life. I know it sounds harsh, but they're gonna block you or something. That's what their plan is. Yeah, so, you have Hilarion. So... I told you already, they let go of you. The fact that you're not giving them love, the fact that the situation is like this, like you are there, but then in the end of the day, they think that they don't deserve you or you did something wrong to them. So they let you go. They're so angry and upset about this connection, honestly speaking. And they want to make it right for you and for themselves. That's why they let go of you and everyone involved that doesn't give them balance, that doesn't give them joy because that is how they're feeling. So what is their intention? To let you go so that they can have a peace of mind and they can peacefully sleep at night. That's what I'm sensing. Then you have the two worlds here. They want to be balanced again with your life. They want to let go of you so that they can have their happiness back in their life and their stability even. They don't want to be stuck with you. They want to let go of you. 
that's what their intention is so you have three outcomes so you have the king of keys they want to be successful someday that's why they let go of you and they will communicate these things to you so don't be arrogant like you feel like your person wants you back honestly not honestly they don't want to be with you because i'm sensing like this is your energy you keep on thinking that your person is um loving you from afar is still thinking about you because you don't want to be burdened that negative thinking of yours the angel say let that go this person doesn't want you back you burdening them and they have to let go of you because i'm sensing like they have their bags ready. They are moving on away from you. Because they want to open the doors towards new opportunity. And they already made up their mind. About you. About letting you go. I'm sensing like you're caused pain and suffering to this person even. And they don't want you anymore in their life. You're full of drama. The angels say. So the next is the master artisan so if before they have been giving to you and now they don't wanna give anything any attention at all because they are like this now they're protecting their heart against you and i'm sensing like you think that they are still open to you and honestly not they are not into you anymore they don't love you anymore and they're now focusing on themselves, on what they truly desire of in this life. And they're gonna let go of you, the fact that you didn't bring them joy. If before they are obsessive over you and now they are not. They're letting you go, the memories as well. They even throw your things on their doorstep like they don't want you anymore in their life. They're so upset of you. That's what I'm sensing. Their intention to let you go. Because they think it's the right thing to do. Some of them are doing that secretly. Okay? And it's your ego telling you guys that your person will stay. But honestly speaking, they will not stay. Because they think you're not their wish fulfillment. You left them out of the cold. And somebody else out there is made for them. That is what they believe in. That's what I'm sensing as well. Like, they're so angry over you because they offer you love, but you didn't love them back. You left them out of the cold and they're suffering now because of whatever it is that had happened in the past. So now, let us see. What is the overall theme for this reading? So they gave you a lot, guys. I know this sounds harsh to you, but you have to accept the fact and move on. So you have peace. The angels say, leave your person be. Don't bug your person because this person wants to be at peace now. And they don't want you back in their life, the fact that you distracted them. And now, you cannot blame them from hurting you because they are doing the right thing to do. Okay? And it's only on your ego that will tell you guys that this person will stay. Honestly, this person wants someone like this. Someone who will bring them success and not somebody was very arrogant, was thinking only of themselves, they see you as a narcissist, is what I'm sensing here. And they see you as somebody who's not righteous. They want to communicate these things to you that you didn't give them love that they deserve. That's what I'm sensing. They're letting go of you. Their intention was like this. They want to follow their happiness and joy. And this is our all in reverse because you're not aware about it. You keep on thinking to yourself that this person will come back when honestly speaking, their intention is to let you go already. And this, they see you as someone who's waiting for them. 
but then they, in the end, they will let you go. Um, they might communicate this to you, but some of them will not communicate. Will just go with the flow, leave you behind, and just be busy with their own. They don't care at for you anymore because you hurt them, and you deserve to be treated like this. You're being punished because of your selfishness, the angels told me. And you don't deserve this person, the angels say. So relax a bit, learn from your mistakes, alright? So here are the advice from the angels. So you have person a new age, person new creation, streaming um, a new world into being. So... Release the pain of the past. Let go and make yourself realize your mistakes so that you can burst into something new. Because if you don't change what will happen to your life, you will continue on to have that negativity, that negative energy, that negative attitude. And do you think somebody will like you having those negativity in your life? So let let that go, release. Burst into somebody who is loving, who is caring, and as someone who's ego-based. So the next card is Dance with Life. Do something to change your energy because I'm sensing you're into negativity. Okay, you need to shift. You need to change. Not only your energy, but I'm sensing also your attitude. Honestly speaking. So the next, don't be arrogant. Don't be a fool. As the angels say, you have to relax. You have to know your mistakes. And then you have this page of Michael. Truthful, perspective, analytical, and blunt. An exciting new challenge, you have what it takes to succeed. Review contracts or documents very thoroughly. So, then you told me, release anything that doesn't serve you. What do you mean by that? Release your negative attitude. Because I'm sensing it's hurting you and this person. And this person knows already that you have been very selfish over him or her. If this is your friend, they don't want you back in their life. What are the intentions to let you go? Because you don't deserve them. That's what they think. So you have this card. I always trust the direction of the universe and know I'm being guided. So you're being guided to release already. This person, set them free and learn from your mistakes. Okay, and always trust that this process has to happen for you to change, for you to learn from your mistakes, to let go of negativity and your issues and fix them because it will aff affect your future, the angels say. It will affect the flow of your life. That's why they also advise you to shift your energy, your negative energy into positive. Learn from your mistakes. The angels say, release this person already. They don't want you back in their life. The angels say. So, is there anything else? They said no more. So thank you for watching pile number one and sending you all peace, love, and light. Bye. Hello guys. For those who chose pile number two, which is the five of wands, here is your reading. Okay. I'm sensing like you have to let go of your ego, guys. The angels told me. So admit your mistakes. The angels say. So you have this as your overall theme. So you got to be fair, to be honest, they say, by the book, and also orphaned. Is there upright or reverse for that? 
So let's see, what are your intentions towards you? So angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards. A lot of people are involved here. I'm sensing, like it's not only this person, but also a lot of friends of them. And they have been very arrogant with regards to this connection of not following what is meant for them. And now they're realizing their mistakes. Um, so their intention was to keep you from harm. That's what I'm sensing here. So let's see. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that we'll be able to see what are the intentions of those um, people that pile number two is thinking about. What are their intentions towards those who chose pile number two? You have the Queen of Scrolls, a bright position for that. They told me the accent, Oriel and the Sphinx, and then the Karmic Trench. So overall energy is a loving elemental, reverse or upright according to the angels. Um, what is the outcome? So you have up in the air, reverse or upright for that. They say the Queen of Forces upright position for that one the waterfall in reverse one more they request for an outcome you have the war of the roses upright or reverse they want to give more for an outcome so let's see so you have archangel Raphael, boss upright or reverse they told me one more, they say, you have the Six of Keys. Is there upright or reverse, they tell. So, let's clarify the cards presented here. So, angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that you'll be able to know what's behind the messages presented here. Um, please help us clarify so we'll be able to understand. Thank you. So the Queen of Scrolls you have. The Hangman in Upright, they told me. And then the Five of Swords reverse. The Accent, you have the Strength. And then the Fool. Um... So this is a lot of cards. So you have the sun card in reverse for that. Reverse and upright for this one, the angels say. The karmic trench, you have the empress in upright, they told me. And they want to give that to you as well. Loving elementals, you have the knight of pentacles. They told me this is both reverse and upright and then the ace of cups. Up in the air, four of cups, upright for, or reverse for that, they say. And then the queen of forces, you have the three of wands, reverse, ten of cups, ace of swords, seven of swords. And then the other is that card, the war of the roses, you have either upright or reverse, eight of cups. Archangel Raphael, you have the King of Swords and then the Star, Reverse, and then for the Six of Keys, you have the Nine of Pentacles and then the Seven of Pentacles. So, the, this is in Reverse according to them, or Upright. So, overall energy that's affecting the reading is the Loving Elementals. I'm sensing like they are not loved by you anymore that's what they feel 
because they're observing you from afar. Some of you could be offering the cup of love, but then some of you already gone cold with this person. Because, um, I'm sensing like it took them a long time for them to heal the situation. Um, it took them a long time to come to realization how important you are in their life. That's what I'm sensing here. Like, I'm sensing like right now they're focused on you and their work. Because they want to offer their love to you. They want to make up from the mistakes that they did to you. So their intention was to give you love. To give you support. If before they are like this, like they don't love you. Now they, they are acknowledging the loving energy that you guys had. But I'm sensing like um, you're moving away. Like, the love is not there anymore. And they miss that. That's what I'm sensing. And their intention was to bring joy and happiness, stability for you. That's what I'm sensing. Okay, and then the first card that you have is the Queen of Scrolls. So, their intention was for you um, not to be like this anymore towards them because I'm sensing some of you are stuck in the situation wherein they did this to you. You still remember. That's why you put your guard up. You don't talk to this person anymore. You got very upset about this connection that they hurt you. And they want to make up for you. The angels say that it's their intention. And then you have this card. What we have here is that they are sensing your loving energy. They are sensing now um, what the universe wants for them. I'm sensing like they have been a fool before. And you're trying to warn them not to fall. But they didn't listen. They became a fool. And now they realize that you are their guide towards their success. That's what I'm sensing here. So you are the light to their darkness, the angels say. And continue on doing that for your person. Because right now they are like this. They want to bring joy and happiness back in your life. That is their intention. They don't want to cause you pain anymore. Because I'm sensing like they caused you this in the past and now they're realizing how much you deserve the happiness and joy. Um, because you bring it to them before but then they didn't accept it. They didn't accept your cup of love. Um, that's what I'm sensing if they are just your friend um, and they just treat you... Um, unwise like they betrayed you they now realize that you are um somebody who's loving and caring that's what i'm sensing like they come to realization that um you are a good friend that's what i'm sensing here and then the next is the karmic trench as i told you before they want to make it up for you they wanna let go of the negativity of the past by offering you something so that you guys can be in the loving energy together. Because the Empress is the nurturer, right? The loving energy and stability as well. And they wanna communicate these things to you. Their intentions are good. No need to be afraid, guys. No need to put your guard up. Okay? Either they want to be your friend again or they want to be your love, your lover once again. So, some of them are filled with tears at night because um, they are realizing um, what they did to you in the past. They, some of them let go of you already and moving forward with their life, but... Um, what's happening here is that they're being pushed back towards you. That's what I'm sensing. And they are, the universe making them realize your worth. 
that's why if you notice if your person is coming back towards you like offering you something or posting in social media about positive things with regards to you then um that is a sign that they are coming towards you in that good intention now if you didn't receive anything yet then it will happen sooner or later guys so please be prepared please be patient and also let go of the negativity of the past put your guard down the angels say don't be like the queen of scrolls being protective like thinking about the negatives um negativity of the past people make mistakes the angels say if your person comes towards you and begging your forgiveness why not give it to them okay in order for you to be forgiven by God, you have to learn how to forgive. Okay? Not, it's not only for yourself. It's not only for the people involved. But it's also for your peace of mind and for your soul as well to be in heaven someday. So you have a lot of outcomes. So you have six outcomes, guys. So this is your first outcome up in the air so they wanted to bring success in your life is what i'm sensing they want to be your friend they want to be there for you always and they want to communicate they want to give it to you and it's only up to you guys if you will accept or not that's why this could either be upright or reverse because this is your decision because their intention was for you to be successful they they do not wish any negativity for you they love you the angels say time to move on from negative energies guys and i'm sensing like um you're they you're standing in your power i'm sensing here honor without this person in your life and i'm sensing like um, there's still a negativity of the past. This person could not be somebody who's faithful to you. They cheated on you. They backstab you. Take what resonates. But then in the end, you have this. Like, um, you're now standing in your power because you remain grounded. You remain focused on your success. And that is how the person is seeing you. Some of them didn't make a move because of the fact that you're not um, looking at them anymore. Like they sense that you unfollow them in social media. That's what I'm sensing here. Like you're angry. Some of them um, knows that you block them. And you're now living your best life. And they are realizing the um, what do you call this what happened like the karma that they had because of her team that's what i'm sensing they're very imbalanced with their life right now they're not standing in your power in their power i mean you are the one who's um standing in their power here there's a power struggle the angels say so relax okay because this person purged already about whatever had happened like your person is the king of pentacles either you're dealing with a girl or a guy okay here and they see you as like this like they realize now their mistakes they purge it and they want to be in this position um with you like I'm sensing like because of whatever had happened in their past, it caused them an imbalance. It caused them pain, suffering, dramas. It's their punishment for hurting you, the angels say. And now they know about it. They want to make it up to you and also for God because they know that they have been punished. And you're standing in your power now because you deserve it that's how they see about the situation and it's hurting them because they know to themselves they are being punished 
and you are fully healed from whatever they did in the past that's what i'm sensing so the next is the war of the roses either reverse or upright so they don't want this energy anymore they want to communicate to you so that you will let go of the anger um this person wants to make it up for you because um they want to move to the calmer waters they want to tell you how much they love you they want to tell you those things that wasn't said before that's what i'm sensing if this is just your friend you don't see them as a lover then they want to communicate they want to admit their mistakes they want to say sorry for hurting you and they want to move on away from the situation if they want to be your lover they will tell it because um i'm sensing like you have been healed from whatever they did cause you this is the pain of the past some of you i told you you guys are like the king of swords like you put your guard up you're gonna cut them anytime if they're gonna de do something f from you if they're gonna hurt you again um you're like this the king of swords and they they know that um, some of you guys could be healed, some of them are not. That they need to heal the situation in order for you not to put your guard up anymore. And they want to make you realize that their intentions are good. They don't want to cause drama anymore. And the angels advice for you, let go of this energy of being protective, protecting your heart from getting hurt again because i'm sensing this one as more on your heart chakra you're protecting your heart because it has been hurt before and now you're healed but you don't wanna hurt you do you don't wanna experience this drama anymore with this person that is how i'm sensing with these cards let go of control issues the angels say let the situation evolve itself because your person will come around and you will not um, realize it if you keep on holding on to the past. So right now, the angels say, your person are trying their best to heal from whatever it is. And they want to work things out with you. And some of you guys are not aware about it because the moon is here and i'm sensing like you don't know that they're working behind your back all you thought was this person let go of you already and move on already from you if this is your ex is if this is your lover that um cheated on you or whatsoever they're not moving away from you they are just doing this healing work they are just focusing now on being stable with their life not basically move on from you because they want to make things right again when it comes to you they want to turn the friendship to lovers if they are a lover and you ask um, what are their intentions well their intention was to bring you back in their life to make you see how much they suffered before and they also want you to realize that they already purge from it they already see the karma for hurting you they want to make it up for you they they want to communicate they want to tell you that they change already that's what i'm sensing and all you need to do was to accept them back in their life because right now they are like this they feel that they did this to you and now they want to make it up for you they want to tell you that you are a part of their soul family you're the one who lead them on the right path that's what i'm sensing and you are the only person who can balance things out that is why some of you will experience communication with this person it is because they see you as someone who is rightful for them who is a part of their soul family and if they didn't realize it before they know now and they listen to god that's what i'm sensing 
So this is what you choose. The five of wands. This is. I'm sensing this should be in reverse. So let's take it reverse. So the angel told me that your person's intentions was to let go of the negativities of the past. Let go of the hurt. Let go of the drama. And back to your loving arms. Because right now they are confused if you're gonna accept them back in your life. So give them a go signal if you're ready. But if not yet, better focus on your healing work. So here are the advice that the angels has for you. See, so you have creating heaven on earth is happening. The angels say be in this energy. Lemuria. So I'm sensing like this is more in a loving energy. They want you to be like this. They want you to continue on loving your person, not to hate them. Because they finally realize their mistakes. Okay. So what else? Um, the angels say they love you so much and it's overflowing of emotions. Like they can't, if they didn't express it before, they will express it now. So be ready. So the next card is break the chain. Ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future. So I'm sensing like you have to let go of that negativity of yours. Okay, you have to let go of anger, anything that is negative so that you guys can move forward towards um, the happiness, the joy, um, let go of the pain and the suffering because it's gonna hold you back forever. You need to get out of that cave, the angels say, and back to the loving arms of God and to this person as well because... It is because, guys, I'm sensing like this could be your twin flame. Wanting to reconcile with you. Okay, that is for the lovers out there. But if this person is just a friend of yours, um, then it means that you have to let go of the negativity, guys. Because this friend of yours transformed already. They are not what they are before. Okay, so don't be arrogant at accepting people that makes mistakes because people make mistakes and some people change for the better and this person changed already for the better and they want you they want to communicate their intentions are good so why not accept them back? The angels say so relax relax a bit about your love allow about your love life about your friendship with this person then you have boundaries where do you need to establish better boundaries so this tells me that you better let go of control issues guys better analyze things before you do this to your person they are telling me that you should not be in this energy. You should keep your person. So, this tells me let go of ego, let go of control issues. Because someday you will understand why. This person changed already, people change for the better. So, you have this other advice you have page of gabriel energetic brave optimistic playful follow your passion you are ready for any challenge opportunities for excitement and adventure so this is a connection with you being like this like how your person see you now continue doing that and let your person come to you but it doesn't mean that you have to put your guard up they want you to manifest your life, but at the same time, let go of control issues. Let go of being arrogant just because you stand in your power. You have to be in the energy of being optimistic, of being playful. Okay, not a player type, but playful energy. Innocence. Joyful. That is what they want you to be because if you put your guard up and this person see that you're like that, then what will happen? 
Your person will not come forward. So if you are just in the loving energy of God, what will happen to you was you will accept people back in your life, even those who commit mistakes, because they see you in the loving energy and not in the arrogant energy. Okay, so the next card is Solutions, Archangel Zadkiel. So you have success that comes from objective, compromise, self-control, and patience, forgiving and healing energy. So right now, they want you to be like this, okay? They want you, you have temperance card. I'm just, this is the temperance card. They want you to be balanced again because you're not okay if you already forgive this person then just take what resonates guys the angels told me to have success in your life let go of your ego let go of negativity heal the pain and you will have um the abundance the success in your life and be patient with your person if they are not coming then they are preparing the angels say so the next is the universe works fast when I'm having fun. So continue on doing this, okay? Continue on standing in your power and remember to be playful, to release any negativity. Have fun. Enjoy your life. Don't focus too much on negative emotions, okay? And that is the only time we're in the union will happen or the universe will be in your favor. Don't prolong the process. Release the pain and suffering and this person will come to you, running towards you because they love you so much. And if they want to be their friend, then they will come to you and apologize. Accept them back. They deserve it, the angels say, after the purging, after the pain. So, is there anything else, angels? They said release the past and move on already from it. And you deserve to have fun. So, they say have fun, enjoy your life. Okay, let go of your ego, let go of your control issues, and everything will turn out well. So, is there anything else? They said no more. So, thank you for watching pal number two and sending you all peace, love, and light. Bye. Hello, guys. For those who chose pal number three, which is the nine of cups, here is your reading. Okay. So, this is your overall theme for this reading. You have building blocks. They said both reverse and upright. They want to communicate with you, the angels say. They want to pull more cards for this, okay? I'm sorry about the noise. So, angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards. So we may know what is the overall theme for this reading. What are the intentions of the person of those who chose spell number 3 towards them? We have the fates. Upright position, they tell me. Fork in the road, they told me it's in reverse, so let's take it reverse. And upright? Okay, they said yes. So one more, they told me. You have peace and harmony. They tell breathe. Either upright or reverse for that. Another card they told me. You have regeneration. Both upright and reverse. They are willing to let you go already. Of this connection that you have. The angels say. So. Focus on you. The angels say. So, angels and guides, please, it's time to move on already. The angels say.
So, angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that we'll be able to know what are the intentions of the person of pile number three towards them. The angels say it's only you who's wanting the connection back. That's what I'm sensing here. Move on already from this person. The angels say. So you have the Oracle of Delphi. You have the garden upright for the garden. They say setting your course. You have the King of Keys. Is your upright or reverse for that? They say the chess game. And then one more they request. So let's take another. So you have the light of the world in upright, they say. So overall energy that's affecting the reading is diversity. Both upright and reverse. They tell what is the outcome. You have the seven of scrolls, reverse position, they say. That's all for an outcome, they told me. So let's clarify the cards, angels and guides. Please provide guidance for the cards so that you'll be able to know what's behind the cards presented here. Please help us clarify so we'll be able to understand. Thank you. The Oracle of Delphi, they said release the past already. Time to move on from this. The angel say two of cups, three of scrolls, four of ones. Upright for this, they tell. The chess game, you have the emperor and then the hangman. Reverse. The light of the world, you have the six of cups, three of pentacles. Um, diversity. You got the lovers reverse, the queen of wands upright for this, they tell, and then three of cups reverse or upright, they tell me for that. So, seven of scrolls, you got the four of swords that is in reverse. Um, they told me to pull more cards for the clarifier. So you have the Queen of Swords, Reverse, the High Priestess card. Is there upright or reverse for the High Priestess? They belong to someone else, they say. So diversity, this is the overall energy that's affecting the whole reading. So what I'm sensing here, um, you are not standing in your power. You keep on waiting for this person to come forward and they have different plans from you. They say, this person is letting you go already because they know to themselves they don't deserve you. They belong to someone so they put their guard up and offer already their cup of love to someone else. If they are still single, then they're looking forward for another relationship. And they already let go of you. And this could be either upright or reverse because some of you guys, they know already that you haven't moved on yet. You always are waiting for them to come back. But then, they want to approach you the fact that they want to tell you to move on. Already, not to wait any longer. They have to break your heart so that you may able to move on. So what is their intention? To tell you the truth. That you have to let them go. So the Oracle of Delphi. So in their intention towards you is for you to stand in your power. They want you to move on already. Because if you keep on waiting for them. What will happen to you? Okay? And some of them are waiting for the right time wherein they can say to you that they already have someone else. They don't want you anymore. That's what I'm sensing with this. 
So the next is Five of Roses. So guys, if you're not yet in separation, the angels say it will happen sooner or later. This person will tell you because don't you don't have to be arrogant. You don't have to think um negatively of your person. This person will just approach you to tell you the truth that the love is not there anymore. And that you deserve to move on already to fix your life because they already did and you didn't because you keep on waiting for them to come back to you and give them give you guys stability because honestly speaking they're not looking forward with this this is more on your energy this is what you expect this is what you think their in their intentions are I'm sensing like they want you to be stable. They want you to realize what you really need. It's time to move on. It's time to let go. I know it's hard. Okay, I know it's hard. They know it. But they will come to you to tell you the truth. This is for you guys to move on already. Okay, because your person wants you to stand in their place. In the power and if you keep on holding on to something that is not meant for you what will happen to you you will be imbalanced you will be continue on waiting and waiting and till it hurt you so chess game I'm sensing like some of them disable their Facebook account because of you they're angry of you, some of them, I'm sensing. And they don't want to tie out um, their self to you. They're not committed to you anymore. They let go of you because you didn't give them what they deserve. That's what I'm sensing. I'm sensing their anger, their pain, their anxiety. And their intention was to break free from you. It's time to move on. They keep on repeating. So you have the light of the world. If this is your friend at a lover, you have to let go. Okay? This person thinks you didn't respect them. And they think they give a lot in this connection. And they will just come towards you to tell you the truth. That they're not interested anymore. And you have to move on. They have to break your heart so that you have to you can move on. The angels say. So you don't have to wait and wait for this person. They don't want you to wait for them. They want you to understand why it happened. So this is you have only one outcome, guys. So the angels say their intention was to heal. Um, for you to heal to for you to focus more into yourself because I'm sensing like you're in the energy of this like You're still thinking about your person being loving to you When honestly not you're not following your intuition. You're following your ego the angels say I'm sensing like the ego already tell you to move on to focus on yourself and not focus on this on the love of this person and it's not making you move forward that is why if you ask about the intention they want to break free from you because they want you to understand that you have to move on you have to move on from them and you have to stand in your own two feet so what are the overall theme I know that this breaks your heart, but you have to know the truth. So, regeneration. They want you to be like this. They want you to realize that you're like this now. You're not moving forward with your life. You're so stuck. In a stagnant energy wherein the sadness prevents you from growing they want you to grow already they want you to move on to breathe to break free because is there a part of reverse so it tells me they want you to breathe but you're not doing it 
they want you to be like this like move on have peace because you're not moving forward fork in the road so what i have here is that you always think that you guys are meant to be when honestly not the angels say it's not what you think it is you deserve someone better. There's someone else out there. Don't believe that this person is for you. Because honestly speaking, I'm sensing this. It's not even your twin flame. It's time to move on. Guys, it's time. It's time to build your foundation. Because you're not doing this. Instead, you're looking at something that is not really meant for you. You always think that this person will bring you success this person is your wish fulfillment when honestly not you have to let go it's holding you back from growing choose a new direction choose a new path already it's time to move on they keep on repeating and repeating listen to your intuition and not your ego they tell so these are the advice from the angels so you have sisterhood of the rose beauty and devotion priestess mystic teacher this tells me listen to your intuition guys you're not listening to your guides to the angels above you're listening to your ego so the only way to listen to your intuition was to appreciate the things why it happened because something else out there is meant for you and you're not listening the angels keeps on repeating that chariot archangel metatron determination self and self-control career advancement acknowledgement of success by others i know that you have a chariot here because this is what you need to do you need to move forward in your life you need to stand in your power to be successful and if you're not doing it you won't be successful the angels say and learn that um, people make mistakes people some people are not meant to be so don't be arrogant enough to control it because honestly you have to move on because you won't be in a successful um, energy if you guys are remaining in their stagnant energy of you thinking that you need this person because this person gives me like this the wish fulfillment and this has to happen to you guys because the angels say you have to stand in your power and that you're doing it you're not doing it and this person's intention was to break your heart for you to be like this don't take it in a negative way because honestly speaking my person broke my heart many times the first time that he broke my heart I learn from it. I stand in my power. I prove to him that I can achieve my dreams. I can achieve my goals. Because that time when he broke up with me, he, I was alone. I was like this. I'm not standing in my power. Okay? And because he broke my heart, I became like this now he's looking at me standing in my power so do this guys do this despite of the hurt and the pain because um, if you hold on um, that you believe that this person is your happiness this person will bring you joy you will be negative you will think you can achieve anything without any people's help. Okay, you learn to stand in your power, guys, because this person see you as something like this. Like your intention to them are like this. Okay, 
You're just a person who's there for your own happiness. And you don't realize what's missing in your life. You're very dependent. That's what they sense. And they want you to let go of that energy. They want you to be successful even on your own. So these are the other cards. Divine Guidance, Archangel, Sandal Phone. The search for meaning in life. Consider an alternative approach. Surround yourself with wise teachers or friends. They told me that I know this reading is a very hush. Okay, but you have to listen. You have to listen to the angels. You have to listen to the higher power. That it has to happen so you may realize something. Not all negative things happened because of negative um, approach or um, it's for your own good. The angels say, learn from your mistakes. Learn from um what lacks in you because i'm sensing like this experience is teaching you something it's teaching you to let go of the past to move on and also to stand in your power without the help of other people okay and don't make other people burden because you only want happiness and joy for yourself Believe that you can give this to yourself. Because I'm sensing you're very dependent. And this person doesn't like it. And they have to break your heart. So that you can move on. So the next card is Epiphany. Archangel Raziel. Joy through spiritual growth. Be a light to others. Answers that come through meditation. So it's time... To be like this, to contemplate about your life, what you lack, and don't listen to your ego. Because the angels say meditation brings answers. And I'm sensing like you're always waiting for your person to come. And they will come alright just to tell you you have to move on. Don't take it the hard way, guys. Learn to listen. If they have to go, they have to go. They have to leave. So, this is the next card for of Gabriel. Time for a celebration. Abundant rewards for hard work. Release yourself from burdensome situations. So, this is burdening you already because it's time for you to move on. You keep on waiting and waiting. The angels say, when you deserve love, but first of all, you need to help yourself. You need to learn how to love yourself before you have this success. You will not have the love of your life if you don't know how to fix yourself. If you don't know how to listen to yourself. If you don't know how to listen to your intuition. Because bad things keep on happening in your life if you don't focus on the things that you need to do. It will just repeat and repeat until you learn your lesson. Okay? The moment that you will be successful, if only you listen. If only you're not arrogant to think that others should have that burden to make you happy. It's time to move on from that mindset. That you just want someone for your own benefit because I'm sensing this person knows it. And they are upset of whatever you did. They are upset of you, of not seeing what you need to do. That's why they have to break your heart so that you can realize it. So you have this card. There is nothing sexier than my authentic truth. Be true to yourself. Let go of your ego and learn from your mistakes because you're not even true to yourself. You even say to yourself that you can stand in your own two feet. 
How can you move on if you're a negative thinker? You can do things your own way. But then realize that you have to learn how to stand in your own two feet or same mistakes will happen in your life. And it's time to move on. It's time to let go. Let go of this person. Let go of those people who's um, thinking negatively of you. It's time to move on. It's time to help yourself. And it's time to focus on your healing. Is there anything else? They said that's it. Okay, thank you for watching pal number 3. And sending you all peace, love, and light. Bye.